When it comes to content strategy, you need a clear plan that ensures your content is meaningful and helps achieve your ultimate goals. Today we're going to dig deeper into your content strategy, focusing on who your audience is and what topics and keywords will resonate with them. Before you start creating content, ask yourself, what's the purpose? Why am I here? No, just kidding. What action should your audience take after reading? Where is this content going to live? And is that the best place to reach your audience? One more, does it align with your overall business goals? Mm. And these are questions we ask ourselves every day at GoDaddy. To answer them, you'll need to identify your audience, topics, and keywords. We have a couple of resources to help. A sample buyer persona and an SEO checklist. It will also be helpful to revisit the editorial calendar resource from the previous lesson. And you'll find links to these resources in the description. Let's start with your audience. By creating a buyer persona, you can determine the language that resonates with them and the best platforms to reach them. A buyer persona is a fictional character that represents your ideal customer. They have characteristics, preferences, and goals, just like real people do, like you and I. Like you. Like you. And I. The buyer persona resource will guide you in creating your customer profile. And this includes basic demographic information, background, lifestyle, and professional information. Reflect on past customers or clients to provide this information. You'll also want to understand how they consume content, their shopping habits, pain points, and challenges. Spend some time talking to your customers to gather this information. Great advice. Also consider what goals and aspirations your ideal customer might have. Understanding how your product or service can help them achieve these goals is key. That is key. And once you've created your buyer persona, you can start by identifying topics they might be interested in. If you're new to an industry and audience, you might want to look at what competitors are already talking about. Is there a topic that they haven't covered? Do you have a different viewpoint? Brainstorm these topics and see how they align with your audience, particularly your buyer persona. And while the buyer persona and competitor research rely on the experience to determine what to target, keyword research can show you what you might be missing. Google's Keywords Planner is a great tool for this. Totally. For example, if you enter dog daycare, you might find that although it's a popular search term, it has decreased significantly in the last three months. However, puppy daycare near me has increased by 900%. Without this research, you might not have considered using puppy instead of dog in your content. Ooh. And for topic ideas, you can also use Google's featured snippets or the people always ask. I love that section in which this shows common questions around a keyword or phrase. Platforms like Quora can also provide insight into your audience's conversations as well. Totally, and once you've identified your keywords and topics, use our SEO checklist to ensure your content ranks well on search engines. This checklist is full of SEO strategies that we can't cover in detail today, but you can find more information in the description. You can list the keywords and SEO descriptions you want to use for each piece of content in your editorial calendar. This way, you can ensure it aligns with your overall strategy. Creating targeted content with well-researched keywords and relevant topics can be challenging and time-consuming. That's why recycling your content is a great way to save time and money in your content strategy. We'll cover that in our next lesson. <laughs>